Taylor. And I'm Kayla. And this is Evidence-Based Talks with Tay and Kay. Welcome to our first ever podcast. We're so excited. We're graduate students from the University of Central Oklahoma. And today we're going to be talking about seeking safety. We're going to talk about what it looks like, who, what it is, and who it helps. We'll also be talking a little bit about post-traumatic stress disorder, or what you've probably heard it called as PTSD, and substance abuse disorders. All right, let's get started. So first, um, let's talk about what Seeking Safety is. So Seeking Safety is an integrated treatment package that treats both PTSD and substance abuse at the same time, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. Most don't don't do that. So that's a pretty cool feature. So Seeking Safety derives from CBT, or Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, and from Psychodynamic Theory. It has 25 topics that are split into three sections, cognitive, behavioral, and interpersonal. So um, it was founded by Dr. Lisa Najevitz. She is an associate professor of psychiatry at Harvard, and she's also the director of the Trauma Research Program and Alcohol and Drug Abuse Treatment Center at McLean Hospital. So she's pretty accomplished. Yeah, sounds like it. Um, She developed this therapy because she has a family history of PTSD. So her mother and her grandmother were both survivors of the Holocaust. Oh, wow. And she actually experienced PTSD. She um, survived an attempted rape and had her face sliced with a razor. Oh my gosh. So she had some PTSD and some familial, familial PTSD. So she wanted to create a therapy that treated PTSD better than what was already out there. Yeah. So um, she claims that seeking safety came from the emotional work required to overcome the traumas that she experienced in her life. Development for seeking safety um, began in 1993. So they started doing research, which was funded by the National Institute on Drug Abuse, or the NIDA, um, their Behavioral Therapies Development Program. The original studies were done at Harvard Med School and McLean Hospital, which is where Dr. Najevitz works. No. Okay. Yes. And um, she draws inspiration. No, it's not derived from these. These okay. are just what she draws inspiration from, um, from several fields, including substance abuse treatments, PTSD treatments, obviously, mm-hmm. um, cognitive behavioral therapy, like I said, women's treatments, and educational research. There are five key principles in seeking safety. So the first and the overarching theme is safety as the first priority. Right, of course. Um, and the second principle is an integrated treatment of PTSD and substance abuse, which this is, like I said, unique to seeking mm-hmm. safety. They treat both PTSD and substance abuse at the same 